Hi everyone, and welcome to episode number 101 of the Karen Knits podcast. My name is Karen, and I'm coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania, where I live, where I work, where I knit and crochet, and get into all kinds of other crafting shenanigans. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. It is Saturday, March the 5th, 2022, and we've got a nice Saturday afternoon happening here. It's kind of overcast, but it's like 54 or 56 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gorgeous out. So, so nice. Motorcycles are out, as you can hear. (laughs) If you're a new viewer, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you like it here. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back for another week to see what I've been up to. I'm so happy to have you here as well. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, you'd make my day if you subscribed. Uh, I'd love to have you join my family here. Um, Tiny little channel, every little bit helps. All the likes, comments, I love the comments. I read them, I read them all. Um, But if you've not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe to my little channel. So anyway, we've got some progress this week. I have a finished object and two new cast-ons. I went 12 hours without a whip. <laughs> I, I was actually whip-free. I had zero works in progress for about 12 hours. Um, I finished up one project about 10 o'clock, I think it was Monday night, and I started another project about Tuesday morning about 10 o'clock. So in about 12 hours. Granted, quite a few of those hours were sleeping, but that, that that's fine. So my finished object, my simple skip socks by Adrian Koo are finished. Poor hubby hasn't been able to wear them yet. I told him, I finished them on Monday night and he's like, oh goody. And I said, you can't wear them till I film again. Oh, I was gonna film his If I get it done, I am going to insert some footage here of them on his feet. But he's not feeling 100% right now, so he's having a nap. So he might not, he might not be able to get these, these on his feet and me to film it. We'll We'll see. It might be added in here. But these are the Simple Skip Socks by Adrian Koo. I knit these with a yarn I dyed myself. It's sport weight yarn. There's a bunch of the, the sport weight skeins in this half here. And I used almost the entire 100 gram skein. I had less than five grams left over. Just like a tiny little golf ball size left over. But I like them. And hopefully the hubby likes them too. So they're done. They're done. I think the next time I make a pair of sport weight socks, I will find a pair that are toe up and then I can not be as scared playing yarn chicken. It didn't quite come to yarn chicken, but I was afraid that I would be playing yarn chicken with these. So they're done. Very happy, very happy with these. And hopefully the hubby will get lots of wear out of them. I suspect he will. Usually when I make him socks, he wears them to death. And he's, he's worn several pair to death. And I suspect these ones will be the same. I don't get around, he usually doesn't part with them or give them up quickly enough that I can mend them. But in all honesty, I'm happier to knit new socks than, <laughs> than to try to figure out how to do the darning. I know it's, I know darning is a good um, tool to have in in my crafting toolbox and my arsenal, but it's something I haven't really got into trying yet. I'm drinking some Coke Zero today. So once the Simple Skip Socks were done, I wanted to cast on or start another project, something that I knew I could pick up and put down quickly and easily because I was impatiently waiting for Sock Madness to start. The 
registration for Sock Madness finished on Monday and they announced that it would probably be another 24 hours after before they would be considering releasing the material list for that specific pattern and for the pattern, the qualifying pattern itself to come out. So I didn't think that the pattern would drop before some, at absolute earliest would be sometime on this past Wednesday on March 2nd. So I needed something. I could, uh, 12 hours I could go without a project on the needles or working on, but I thought 36 hours or more, no. I didn't want to go without. So I picked up a crochet project. Now for me, crochet is way, way faster than knitting. Um, I started a crochet cardigan on Tuesday, late morning. And this is the Occhio cardigan by Little Red Knits. And I wanted to use just some yarns that I had a lot of in my stash and I opted for using I had five skeins of this Karen Simply Soft in dark country blue is the color of this one oops I'm just I'm undoing stuff here hang on ah. come on unravel just gonna catch this while I can Anywho, whoopsie. Um, so, since Tuesday, I have come a little bit closer to half finishing this cardigan. As I said, crochet, for me, crochet is way faster. So, let me figure out how's the easiest way to show this. So, it starts at the bottom here and it's a nice sort of little bit of a meshy design and then it goes into another design the rest of the way through and this there's a couple ends that need weaving in and then it ends with this mesh again now what this pattern does is you make two long panels like this and what you do is one panel is going to be the right hand side and the other the left hand side I do have a point to the proper sides and the panel will go from one of these one of these mesh ends will be the bottom front the other mesh end is the bottom and the back then at about the halfway point you will be where the shoulder is and what you'll do is the two pieces you will stitch roughly halfway on the two panels you will stitch them to you'll join them together to make the the full back of the cardigan and then you will take the side parts of the two the two halves of the long panel you will stitch the side seam there leaving an open opening for the sleeve and then you do the same you do that for the both sides and stitch up the back and voila you have a cardigan or a vest so I have one side complete and the second side I have the first part of the mesh portion done minus a couple stitches because I pulled it out <laughs> oops and that will crochet up the other half of um, the body will crochet up pretty quickly the only catch is is that the first half of the body took a little over two skeins of yarn so the second half is obviously going to take a little over two skeins of yarn again so I will have less than one skein to do both sleeves once I have the second half of the body complete and I've stitched the back and sides together, I am going to see how much of that last 
skein number five or ball number five whatever you call it I will see how much of that is left and see if I still have enough to do the sleeves what I might do if I don't have enough to do the sleeves I think what I'll probably do is I will start from both ends of the last skein of yarn and I will do a few rows on each sleeve and I'll just go back and forth in tandem and see how long I can get the sleeves. If I can get the full length of the sleeves, fantastic. If it really looks like I'm gonna run out fast, I might do it as a short sleeve cardigan, like a half sleeve or a three quarter length sleeve. Or if I'm running really short on yarn, I will just do kind of like a little bit of a cap and make a vest, a cardigan vest. It'll all depend on how much yarn I have left. Like I say, I only have the five, five balls of yarn, and I want to use up as much of it as I can, and I'm hoping I can make it into a long sleeve cardigan. If I can't, I can't. S such is life. Um, I'm okay if it's, I'm okay if it just ends up being a vest. So, we shall see. Stay tuned. I hope to have that done in the next week or so. Um, it might take a little bit longer to do because I have a second whip that I cast on on Wednesday evening. No, I cast on Thursday morning. And that's occupying almost all of my spare time. And that, my friends, sock madness. Sock Madness 16 has begun. The information about what materials are needed for the qualifying round, the material list was posted, or the materials we needed for the qualifying round was posted 8 something in the morning on Wednesday, March the 2nd, um, Eastern US time, the time zone I live in. So the the instruction or not the instructions the material list came up so I looked through several different variety of yarn it listed that we needed two colors of yarn roughly 60 to 70 grams of one color I think it was 30 to 45 grams of the other but I'm I'm going on memory on this but I looked over some of my skeins of yarn, tried to mull over and think which ones I wanted to use, but I thought I'm not going to make a final decision until I see the pattern. I never do make a final decision on my yarn until I actually see the pattern. And then, then I've, once I've seen the pattern, what it's going to look like, I'm all in. I, I will pick my yarn at that point, because that, that's when my yarn will, will speak to me. That's the only problem with the weather turning nicer. Yeah, it is what it is. So I went off to work on Wednesday morning and the pattern dropped about an hour after I got to work. So I could not do anything until I got home. And Wednesdays are a long day for me. I usually don't get home on Wednesdays until about eight o'clock in the evening. So I wasn't able and then by the time we got home I, I was able to see the pattern and mull it over and contemplate it and study it by the time we got home I was like you know I don't want to I don't want to get into getting the the yarn caked up and divided up and I just thought that I have an entire two weeks to complete the pair of socks I thought I'm just gonna leave it and I will start fresh on Thursday morning so that's what I did. I had a bunch of things. I got a little bit done on Thursday. And then by Friday, I was able to get some done, but, but I had a couple meetings and things I had to do work-wise. This morning, I've been plugging away with these. I love this pattern. The pattern is called angle crystal and it's by Kaya 
Gossens. I hope I'm not pronouncing that too far off base. I will have the, I will have put the information down below. So I chose my colors and I got going. I went with some leftover bear yarn I had and some leftover yarn I had in my own hand dyed yarn. So I thought I had almost almost 50 grams of the blue so I thought that would be enough and I always have more of the bear yarn because I like dyeing my own yarn too. So this this was the yarn I selected. I got gauge using 2.25 millimeter needles. There's a lot of purl stitches on here so for me uh, purl stitches tend to come out, my gauge comes out looser when I have a lot of purl stitches to do. It's just the way my gauge is. Oh my hair, good grief. So without further ado, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I love it. I absolutely love it. And so when I do my, often when I'm doing socks, and particularly for sock madness, because often the patterns have, they're often a little bit more challenging than the average sock. So what I typically like to do is knit my socks two at a time in tandem. So what I will do is I will knit one cuff, assuming they're top down. We'll just top top down in this example. I will do one cuff, then I will do the second cuff. Then I will do one leg, and eventually I will do the second leg. So I am at the point now that both cuffs are complete, and the leg is complete on the first sock. So I will go back and do the leg on the second sock and then I will get into the heel turn or the heel flap and the heel turn I'll do the heel flap for one then the heel flap for the other then the heel turn for one then the second then I'll do the gusset decreases for one then the gusset decreases for the second then I'll keep going down the foot for one and two then the toe for one and two. And that's just the style I like to, I like doing my socks that way. Because this way I've figured out how the pattern flows on the cuff. So when I go to the second one, it's all fresh in my mind. As opposed to knitting the entire first sock and then coming back and having to recall what the, the stitch pattern was on the cuff. For this one, that part wasn't complicated. And then for the, the leg, it's the same thing. The pattern is the first first round through roughly here I guess was about the end of the first there's two repeats of the pattern on the top of the sock uh, by the time I finished the first repeat on the leg I got into the rhythm of reading the symbols reading the pattern doing the knitting and it came, it became more intuitive what I was supposed to do but I love aren't isn't that gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and now the the funny thing is hold on hold that thought for a second I just gonna reach way over here remember last last week I think it was when I finished my hybrid knit along pattern the cable trellis when I was knitting this the thought was wandering through my mind that that specific style of stitch I thought I thought that would look really cool in a sock madness design and then what do we get it was almost spooky that I was thinking that would make a really cool type of stitch pattern it's it's not the same by any stretch of the imagination there's quite a bit of difference but it's the same idea we have the stripey thing happening and the cables overlaying the stripe pattern and I just thought that would make such a cool 
sock matter sock madness pattern I love it but these turned out they just turned out fantastic it looks so cool so good I'm trying to say it looks so good and cool at the same time ghoul it didn't it doesn't look ghoul anything these just look so neat I really love this pattern absolutely love this pattern every year when I get involved in sock madness again I'm reminded why I love this so much I absolutely love sock madness um, it stretches your techniques it stretches you learn new things every time skimming through the pattern and looking at the heel turn and then the sole of the foot it's something I've not done before so I'm excited for that to to come up have to finish the second leg first but that's my progress this week one finished pair of socks a crochet cardigan that's closer to halfway done it's I could say it's probably close to ha almost halfway done if it's if it grows up to be a vest if it I have enough yarn for the sleeves then I'm probably about 40% done crochet is I find I find crochet to be so much faster for me at least and so that's well underway and sock madness sock madness is back I'm such a happy girl so we have a full two weeks to complete this pattern for sock madness so we will have an we will have a week from Wednesday yet so I I have no fears that I will not get the pair of socks done as I mentioned I already have one leg is complete the second leg shouldn't take too long now that I've got the hang of it. I'm kind of hoping I can finish the second leg today. Maybe. And this week coming up, I will have a decent amount of time to work on, on my knitting. Right now at work, we're just starting spring break this weekend. And so this week coming up, I have no classes. I have no major work or school commitments so typically we do some traveling during spring break but this year we aren't able to because our calendar was just we just had two between the husband and I we just had too many other things on the calendar or, or him particularly he had too many other things on the calendar so travel just didn't work out for us this year and what that means though is that I have lots of knitting time so I suspect I should have the what are they called angle crystal I should have I'm hoping to have it done by next weekend I might not who knows I might or might not have them done by by the time I see you next Saturday come back and check Although the one thing is that I do have to pay attention to the pattern. So typically I don't do a lot of work on knitting the socks in the evening while the hubby and I are watching TV. Uh, we typically tend to watch a movie every night. Although where he's not feeling 100% today, that might not happen tonight. But we shall see. So what I did... The last couple nights was well, on Thursday night and Friday night. Instead of working on the Sock Madness socks, I worked on my Akio. Akio? I can't even remember how. I don't know how to pronounce some of these words. I worked on my cardigan instead. Because I can do the crochet is, for me, very easy to do and watch TV at the same time. And this is a relatively straightforward pattern to, to work. So I was able to get a lot done on it the last two nights watching TV. So I'm not sure if tonight I will work on my socks or if I will work on the cardigan. I don't know. But during the daytime, it'll be socks all the way. 
So, I'm so excited. I love sock madness. So anyway, that's about all around here right now. I should get going so I can get the editing done. Hubby's still still sleeping, so I might not be able to get a little video footage of him wearing these socks, the Simple Skip socks, um, in today. If not, I will see if I can get a get some video footage of his feet in the socks to include in next week's video. We'll see. So otherwise, how many of you that are watching are, are participating in Sock Madness? Anyone else or am I the only, am I the only one that's crazy enough to do Sock Madness? It's all fun, I love it. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to get going. I'll get the editing done, get this uploading onto YouTube and get back to my second leg. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you guys again in a week. Bye now.